Hey, hey, is anybody home today? Hello, welcome to the office of Love and Light. And you have trickled into Self Love September. Hello. This should be Monday and it should be a holiday when you're getting this, which should not throw you off. If you were going to a Memorial Day ladybug picnic, I don't know what you're doing, but I have a new video up on YouTube. I just loaded it up um, today, which is Sunday, which you'll be getting this Monday. Get some tips and tricks on that because you absolutely can stay on your game. Yes, you can. But I wanted to tell you something about, first of all, if you are attempting to stretch your fat out in your recipes, I have so many videos on stretch the fat guacamole, um, stretch the fat dressing, how to make an awesome dressing every time, my favorite raw vegan dressing base, all these kind of things. But if you're, let's say you're going to make some romaine um, veggie and avocado tacos, for example, meaning your veggie. Sorry, we had a call. So anyway, if you're doing that, let me just show you an easy way without you even having to make that into a, like a stretch the fat guacamole, which I show you how to do in many vid videos, which is basically you take your amount of avocado you would want, let's say you want half of an avocado, and you would really dice up a lot of veggies that look very similar and it can stretch out and you can add flavors in there to really enhance and it's better than if you just had six avocados and guacamole that is so much fat and so much calories and you don't need that much. You need the amount you need, no more and no less. So let's just say you normally use half of an avocado. Okay, here is a medium Haas avocado. Now, we all realize how these taste. They're very dense, decadent, and delicious. But really, you don't, they're almost too fatty. Like when you just scoop out with a spoon, you wouldn't want to just sit down with a fork and just eat this. It's better if you use other things with it. But when you go to slice this really thin, even if you're using, um, maybe you're using Ezekiel bread wraps or whatever you're choosing to use or romaine. When you go to slice this thin, it's kind of hard to do that. But let me show you a different thing you could do. This is a different kind of avocado called a slim cotto. These are Florida avocados. And then this one is really ripe and ready to eat. I'm gonna eat it today. But as you look at the difference in that, these both have roughly a, a little bit less than 400 calories, okay? So you, half of this one or half of this one, come on, bang a gong, get your large avocado on, right? So anyway, what you can do is you can slice that really thin. Therefore, you're getting the nice amount. See, they're a little more um, moisture rich is what it is, but still very dense and decadent. So therefore, you're getting a, a slice like you're stretching out your fat. And all you gotta do is slice it, really you do. So anyway, I, I got this one at Ingles, but you can often get these, that's a local grocery. Many places have them, they're called Slim Cottos. Um, another thing about avocado is it's one of those things that's on the Clean 15. You really don't need to buy these organic unless they just happen to be on sale, then knock yourself out. But it's just one thing to keep in mind. Another trick and tip I wanted to tell you is say your family does not eat like you, and I know it's hard to get kids on board, it's hard to get hubby on board, your family, whoever is around you when you're eating. And it can create a problem because typically you serve it up and dish it out to everybody else and you forget to even make you something. I know how you do. You forget to put yourself on the list, but this is Self Love September and you're gonna do that. So what you could do, let's say you're made it Monday night is let's say spaghetti night. It's spaghetti night. So maybe hubby wants garlic bread or whatever. And you always feel kind of guilty when you make your own because you know they're getting in very little nutrition and all this, but yet they're like, I don't want your dang food. Okay, it's no need to argue like, do you and, let, and shine your light and eventually it will shine out to somebody that wants to pick up what you're laying down. But anyway, in the meantime, you make them, let's say they want wheat noodles or quinoa noodles are really good. Um, there are black lentil noodles, or maybe they just want white noodles. I don't know, noodles. And then you've got zucchini noodles or carrot noodles. Maybe you're even mixing those in. And mixing those in can kind of help people add a little bit of that into their food. And really, they don't even notice. Maybe you limped their carrot noodles down. You see, you threw them in the boiling water at the end and kind of limped them down, and then you mix that in. It's very beautiful. Also, you can allow your kids to get on board with doing the spiralizer, um, doing the spiralizer doing the um, Titan brand peeler. That's the Julienne cut. If you're gonna do that, make sure you put on one of those little cutting gloves on their little hands because those can nick your fingers. Be careful little fingers what you do, right? So anyway, 
What you can also do is you can make your sauce, your raw sauce. So let's say you have a little bit of nut butter in there. You have some sun-dried tomatoes, tomatoes, some garlic, a little bit of scallions, all these things going in this delicious sauce. Now, you don't want to eat salt. You don't want to add extra fat. You don't want oil, you, but they do. So you make up this sauce and then you put extra things. Maybe you make up two. You make yours, then you add things to theirs until they get on board with what you're doing. Because you are going to be focusing on shining your lights so bright, People are going to start to say, well, you're really feeling good and looking good. What are you doing? Serve me some of that. I'll have what she's having, right? Or he's having. So anyway, stretching that out. Or maybe you're going to make a salsa and um, they want salt in theirs. They want different things that you don't put in yours. So make a big one and then add things to theirs at the table or allow them to do that. It's really a great way to get your family on board. Um, another thing is you can make a raw soup. Maybe you made like a creamy tomato soup. Maybe they want theirs cooked, and then they also have garlic bread with theirs. Maybe they also have, like, um, the penne pasta in there. So now you've got, like, a tomato and pasta soup. You really can stretch that out um, across the board for the family or whoever you're eating with. Furthermore, even for yourself, you could add more raw in every day. But it's just some tips and tricks I was thinking about. And I love you, and thank you for opening this up. It lets me know that you're on board with getting to the better version of yourself. We are all the same, you and I. And I love you very much. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you the rest of this month for Self Love September. And I would love to see you post in the comments ways that you really incorporate your food into your families. Do you have any tips and tricks that you do with your family that could help everybody else? We would love to see that. Yes, we would. I love you. See you later, alligators. Bye.